Hey, what's up, guys? This is Aizen. I'm <clears throat> um. Uh, so it's, here's here's a video tutorial on how to um download install uh, Spectre's Open File Toolkit. Okay, and then how to set up SSH. Okay, first off, let's download um Spectre. Uh, download for Windows. Okay, and then while downloading, you go to Microsoft.com site and download yourself a copy of .NET 6.0 Desktop Runtime, and you need this for it for the uh, for the toolkit to work. So, download and install this one. Okay. Okay, and then, uh, let me see. Okay. So once downloaded, so it's, it, this is a seven Z file extension. So I use WinRAR to open it. WinRAR. Um, so these are the contents of the file. Okay, so you're gonna extract it. Um, I'm gonna extract it to uh, to my desktop and under video tutorial. Okay. And then um, see here. Okay. Then you look for Open Pilot toolkit.exe okay so if i were you i'm gonna i'm gonna make a uh, shortcut a shortcut okay let's create a shortcut here so click on the open file toolkit And make sure your your uh, comma device it's it's connected to the local network. Okay, same network, same same network as your computer where you, uh, Open Pilot is running. So as you can see, it found a device, and but authentication failed. Okay, why is it authentication failed? Because it's using um, it's using um. Call it, it's using an old the, the the old one the old key the universal key okay the open ss key if you open that one is you it uses the old key so what you need to do is you need to replace that one with your github key and for in order for do to do that is you just follow the instruction device found but do you want to start ssh wizard it's the same thing as this one the ssh button here okay so what you do is just click yes so just put in your github username okay so you need to create a G github um, account then put in your password And then generate new key. The next. So you're generating a new key. So you need to go to your phone and and um make sure SSH is enabled. At the same time, you have to add your github username in my case it's eisenheim okay so um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna remove my name because right now it's it's, it's uh, my, my eisenheim is it's added so what i'm gonna do is since it's a new key i'm gonna remove my name and put it back again okay i'll be back i'll be back in uh, in a few seconds
Okay, so <clears throat> so I added Eisenheim. Okay. So what I do is just click finish and then scan for device and there you go. It's automatic. See, these are all your drives. Okay. Um and here's a handy um free program button. You can reinstall open file, reboot, shut down, open setting, Android settings. You can flash your panda from here and install emu. Okay. While we're at it, let's install emu. I'm using OpenPilot 0.8.9, okay, for, for your information. Okay. So now, and uh, for, the, uh, for your drives, you can combine the segments. Okay. And I don't know about this one. I haven't tested it yet. And here are the, um, the logs. Okay. And you could go, you could explore right over here. Fingerprint, it should work. Your fingerprint, you can get your fingerprint, uh, your car's fingerprint, but for some reason, my comma power is not, um, there's something wrong with my comma power. And it should show here, your fingerprint. Okay. SSH, if you're going to do it again, here's how you do it. But the most important thing is I use this one from now uh, from the get go now. This is my um this is my um what happened? Oh okay. What happened here? Oh, but anyway. Okay, so this is, so I use this now instead of workbench. It's very handy. Um, so let's see. So I mean, uh, oh, he changed it. Mm. I like the old one better. Hmm. But anyway, um, yeah, um, there you go. There you go, guys. Uh, that's how easy it is. Okay. Um, and again, this is Eisenheim, and thank you for watching my video.